right, guys. We out here. We got Nikon and Aunt May. We got Kevin. We're about to go to Angeles Crest Highway. This might be a bad idea. We're about to go try to find some snow and take our cars to the snow. Remember we did this years ago? I in the E92 and E92. Yeah. That was sick. And he got stuck. Yeah, and you left me. <laughs> so hopefully we don't get stuck today. We're going to try to find some snow. It's been snowing and raining all weekend, so I'm sure there's going to be snow up there. Sure. This shit's all we'll drive, so he's good. You can probably do donuts in the snow, bro. If you find a patch, bro, you should try it. We have nothing else to do today, and like I said, it's been raining, so that's how we know there's gonna be some snow today. So let's go. Kevin doesn't want to bring his car because he's scared. <laughs> he's literally scared of the snow. But yeah, we're gonna go to Angeles Crest Highway. It's a canyon that we always go to. We always go in the vlogs, but usually in the winter, you can find some snow if you go high enough. So let's go. Let's find some. I said snow like 20,000 times right now. Never freaking break laws here. <laughs> Show them what you had to take. Guys, <laughs> this is what I took. Drive on me motion sickness because if you guys remember the last time we went on this exact highway, <laughs> I was so sick. And Nick swears it's not gonna happen this time, but I look how he's driving already. I know. She literally has to take motion sickness medicine when she gets in the car with me, guys. Look, look at me. Look at this. We're warming it's up the tires. Look, we always drive by this shop. There's always GHs outside. They only got like four or five up there. I'm scared, guys. <laughs> I have a patrol. Why is he on the street, bro? Let's take the highway. It's so windy outside, bro. Bro, you shitting yourself or what? What? When the cop yelled on the intercom? Yeah, what was he saying? He said like, get off your phone or something like that. Really? Yeah. I wonder if he's yelling at me. I heard the cop telling us something before he pulled up next to us. I heard him on the intercom, but I couldn't hear over the music. But I guess Nico said that he was saying, get off your phone. And he pulled up next to us. Brake boost? cold enough <laughs> bro i'm telling you california it's been so dry it's literally almost february it doesn't even have that much rain or anything v8 oh yeah g car meat <laughs> night meat <laughs> 
<laughs> Kevin hosted this meet again Jeez, tonight, guys. <laughs> Wait, no drift. That should be pretty sick. Damn, Undergo's coming back, G. Anyways, guys, some time has passed. We did a little canyon run. It was kind of a fail. We didn't see any snow, bro. That was a fail today. Oh, wait, good thing that I was literally a car. fail, dude. I'm glad I didn't drop my car. Look at the jump. <laughs> I was hoping, what the heck? Big ass B. I was hoping there'd be snow today in the canyon, but there was none, guys. So now, hours have passed, we were just chilling for a bit, and we are now here at this little night meet. Uh, pretty cool turnout, not that many cars, but let's see what they got. I think it sounded sick, though. Sheesh. I love how it has Corvette engine cover still. It's fire. Got some Beamers here, we got the M4, Laguna Seca Blue, we got an E46. I see this thing everywhere, bro. <laughs> Damn, I need that hood. That shit is so fire. You guys gotta help me. Do I wide body the E46 or not? Damn, that interior is sick. I love the cage, bro. This car is perfect. It's like the perfect example of the E46 M3 right there. So they said it perfect. I love the wheels too. But yeah, guys, you guys gotta help me. Should we wide body the E46? I was thinking of picking up the wide body kit this week. So you guys gotta let me know ASAP. Should we keep it stock body like this? They're already pretty wide. I said this in one of the last videos. I was like, look how wide the E46s are. They kind of look OEM wide body, <laughs> like the fenders. <laughs> but I want to add a wide body kit. I'm going to put the kit right here, a picture on the screen. Let me know that or stock body, guys. What do you guys like better? Comment down below. I think that the wide body suits my E46 good because it's like a drift car, track car, you know? It's makes it look like a race car. If I had a street E46, I definitely want a wide body. I would keep it like this, stock body. But the fact that it's a drift car, I think the wide body has to do I think I have to do the wide body. I think it's going to be sick. Carbon hood is fired too. This thing's nice. Sheesh. This shit clean, bro. Really clean. It's not even an M4. I think it's just a 4 Series, right? But that shit looks better than a lot of M4s I've seen. <laughs> this is an M4 though. Sick ass wing. Damn, that shit is huge, bro. <laughs> Sick. I feel like I've seen this thing on TikTok, bro. I swear I've seen this guy's car on TikTok. Where are we at, bro? That's pretty cool. I like how those M stripes on the roof. Nah. No? You want to trip out? What? Four series with the M2 front bumper. Wait, what the? <laughs> with M2 wheels, too? M2 front bumper. Bro, that is weird. Bro, I'm, it looks like F80 grills. But M2 bump, bro, I don't know what yeah, I'm looking at. Bro, we came to another meet. It's already shut down. Today's all bad, bro. The canyon was a fail. No snow. The last meet was a fail. No cars. This meet was a fail. Helicops. Bro, all day today has been a fail, Nikon. Mm -hmm. What's going no on, snow. G? No snow, no nothing. No snow, you Corvette. Oh yeah, I didn't even mention that guys. We lost freaking Nikon and Kevin in the canyon. I literally went down by myself with no service. For all I know, you guys could have went off the cliff, bro. I would have never looked. <laughs> Some Hellcats? Ram it, ram it! <laughs> I still want a Hellcat. Where are we at, bro? We're in Compton. <laughs> Right now we're about to head to the post office. We're finally shipping out every piece of merch left, guys. So every single order is gonna be out today. This is the last of the orders. Everybody's is out, so. So anybody that hasn't got their order, please check your emails, check your tracking numbers. Because everything is gonna be shipped out today. Right now, five minutes, I'm about to get there. Again, first and foremost, I appreciate everybody who placed an order on the merch drop. This last merch drop went crazy, bro. The most orders I've ever got in my life. And I'm so thankful, guys. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I'm so glad I can make some dope merch for you guys. And I cannot wait to see everybody rocking it at car meets and stuff like that. I've already caught a few people wearing it, so I can't wait to see more people. Second, thank you guys so much for your patience, for the people that have been waiting. I know it's been taking about like two weeks, which isn't terrible. I don't know if you guys seen, I see some YouTubers not shipping out merch for years. <laughs> but this is about two weeks late, so I'm sorry, but all the orders will be out today. And yeah, I'm just super thankful guys, thank you, and new merch is on the way. I'm so happy how the direction of the merch is going. We're starting to do more like clothing brand style, and it's starting to become like a real brand, you know? Like in the past, it was a lot of Finding Nick merch. Now it's becoming like a live fast brand. Kind of a cool saying and a cool way to live by. And I think it's dope, cool ass lifestyle. And I'm excited.
excited for the new merch that I'm making right now. The new designs are gonna be sick. I cannot wait to show you guys. A lot of like clothing brand inspired merch. So think of it more as like a clothing brand than like a Finding Nick merch, you know? I'm trying to incorporate both. It's hard to do both, but we're trying to make it happen, you know? We just got to the post office right now. Gonna drop off all of these orders. Actually, one more skateboard as well. This is the last skateboard I needed to ship out. Back the F80 up right here. And also, I have to make sure not to get mixed up, but this one is actually a P.O. box. If you guys remember, I opened up a P.O. box about last month. And I told you guys, this is my P.O. box. I'll leave it right here. If you guys want to send me anything like fan mail or your guys' clothing brand for me to rock in the vlogs, whatever the case is, you guys can send it to my P.O. box. I'll open it on the vlog if you guys want to get your brand out there. Or even just like fan mail, something that you guys want me to open up on the vlog. So we're going to open that up right now, see what somebody sent. I appreciate it again, everybody who sends me something in the P.O. box. Oh my god, I thought I broke my camera. <laughs> I thought I broke my camera again. I was about to be so sad. All right, let's drop this merch off and then head to LA. We're gonna go check out my E46. <laughs> it's been like a week, bro. And I thought Sam was gonna start it already, but we're gonna go over there. It's hard, guys. Same with my GTR. It's hard waiting for shops because, like, everybody's busy, bro. Everybody has a life. Everybody's busy. And 412's hella busy. I know my friend with the GTR, where the GTR is at. I know he's super busy too. He works on tons of GTRs. And as much as I want my cars done, I gotta understand that they are also busy, but we do gotta get the GTR back. That is taking forever. But the E46 too, I've been just waiting for Sam to clear up some space. He said as soon as the lift is open, he'll throw my E46 on there and it's like a day or two worth of work. So we're gonna go try now. That's another thing too. <laughs> I feel like if you wanna get your car done, you gotta just show up to the shop, bro, and just be there and kind of put some pressure on them. I might have to stop at the GTR shop and just see. <laughs> What's the update on my GTR, bro? <laughs> Anyways, let's go drop this stuff off and let's head to 4 Let's go. Yeah, guys, this is the last of the orders. Got one skateboard. And we're gonna make more skateboards next drop, guys. I felt bad, only five of them were on the website and they sold out in like five seconds. I'm not even joking. So next merch drop, I'll probably do like 10 skateboards so you guys are able to get them. But I like that it's like kind of limited. So only some people get them and it's kind of like a, something limited. You know how like when Supreme does a drop or like these hype beast brands, there's something very limited and they go for a lot. They're very rare. That's how I want it to be. So only five of them this drop. But we're gonna make some more skateboards soon. It's kind of cool that only a few amount of people have them, you know? And they're all numbered one through five. Next time I'll do like 10 probably. You guys remember how many big orange tubs we filled up last time? Bro, I think this merch out, we probably filled up like six of those tubs, bro. Like, they're like this big. This one's like the last of it, so there's not that much back in it. I think they can fit in these. I'm trying to see if I can pick some out in LA. Because I'm going to LA right now, I can probably hand deliver some. Houston, Texas, Orange, California, Harupa Valley, South Carolina, bro, all over. Utah, Las Vegas. Washington, Oregon, Brooklyn, New York, Connecticut, Florida, Washington. Guys, it's crazy. Like, literally all over the world, you guys are supporting me. And this is when I really see it. Like, over the vlogs and the comments, you know, I see the, I see the love. I see the support. But once I see this stuff, it really opens my eyes of that you guys are watching from all over the world. And it's just crazy. Like, it's crazy that, like, we built this YouTube channel. It's crazy. I don't know. I think the craziest ones I've seen was like uh, like New Zealand, South Africa. I got a lot of South Africa supporters. Uh, Germany. I've seen so many crazy ones, guys. I was hoping they'd be like an LA one that I can hand deliver to you guys, but all of these are out of the state. So unfortunately I can't. I mean, that sucks. Well, I still got a few uh, license plate frames on the website still and a few more stickers. So if you guys want and you guys are local, I might hand deliver some more. So go to the website, shopfindlink.com, if you want a couple of plate frame. And again, I'm gonna do this every merch shop, so don't worry. If you guys didn't get picked this time, I'm gonna try to hand deliver it to everybody at one point. <laughs> I'm gonna pick like maybe 10 more next job. So don't worry. And I think it's a really cool experience to like meet you guys. And again, I said this in the last video, it's the least I can do, bro. You guys show so much love and support and then you just copying the merch means so much to me. So the least I can do is hand deliver the merch and say what's up to you guys and have a conversation with you guys. I don't know, I love it. And there you go, last of the orders are out. Play frames, hoodies, t-shirts, and the skateboard. I appreciate you guys, seriously. Let's go to phone two, I'm out of breath, bro. This shit a workout. 
Bro, I, how many times do I wash my car and look how dirty it gets? So fast. Oh my god. This car is never gonna be clean. It needs a detail inside too. All right, while we're here, let's open up this real quick. Oh, I thought I lost my knife. But while we're here, let's open up this P.O. Box package. Uh, let's see who it's from. Milton Stilly. What is this, bro? I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Whoa! Wait, what the? You guys should see what this is. Hold on, let's open up the letter real quick. To Finding Nick from Stiley. Stilly? Stiley? Sorry. <laughs> Stilly, I think, 5.0. I'm a big fan. I watch all your videos. I saw this and immediately thought about you and Kevin, lol. Sorry I couldn't find your specific spec, but I'll look for more. I know Kevin will be happy to see this. It's time for an unboxing video now. And don't forget to shout me out. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Here's his Instagram right here. Shout out to him. This is dope. Wait till you guys see what's in here. I gotta have Kevin's reaction too, but no way, bro. Look at it. M4 GTS, there's no way. This is for sure gonna go in the new apartment, bro. Unless you want me to give it to Kevin. But I'm sure Kevin has it, I bet. He's gonna be so hyped right now, I'm gonna show him right now. Even has the orange roll cage, bro. That's exactly like Kevin's car. It's exactly Kevin's car. That is so sick. Thank you so much, bro, I appreciate that. Again, that's what I mean. You guys can send anything in the, in the fan mail if you guys want. I think it'll be a cool thing just like unboxing. Who doesn't like seeing people unbox stuff? I don't know. But this will be cool for the new apartment, bro. That's another thing. If you guys didn't watch last video, I got approved for an apartment. I think we're moving in on Tuesday. So literally in a couple days, we're going to be moving into a new apartment and it's going to be all empty. So I need a lot of furniture and a lot of cool things like this will be cool to put in the apartment. So thank you. I appreciate that. And uh, let's get Kevin's reaction right now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. I was just picking this anywhere. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bro, I'm taking like five seconds cleaning about. Bro, I hate people that take their job so serious, guys. Who am I bugging, bro? Literally. I'm literally dropping out packages, opening up another box real quick. Uh, all right, well, whenever Kevin answers his phone, I'll vlog his freaking reaction. But let's hit the phone too now. We got a long drive to LA, bro. So let's go. Soon we'll live there, though. <laughs> I'm excited, bro. I cannot wait to move to LA, guys. Um. I see some people like, why, why do you wanna move to LA? But guys, a lot of my friends are in LA. Like where I live, there's not that many like, I mean, there's car people, but not like a lot of car friends that I know. Like everybody's out in LA. Everybody, 412's in LA. This new apartment is literally 10 minutes from 412, 10 minutes on the dot. It's five minutes from Kevin's house on the dot. <laughs> like it's so close to everything. So all the content's out there. Every time I come home, like out here, the only reason I'm over here is when I ship merch or I pick up merch or stuff like that. Other than that, I don't make any content out here. Only in LA I make all the content, guys. So I don't know. That's why I'm doing. So that's why I'm doing the move. I've always wanted to be in LA, and I'm gonna try it out. Try it out for a year. See what happens. See how I like it. If I don't like it, I'll come back. <laughs> hopefully more content and hopefully more uh, doors open up and stuff like that. But I'm excited, guys. My first ever apartment, and uh, it's gonna be dope. Super nice. I cannot wait to show you guys. Um, it's gonna be sick. I'm gonna try to document the whole process of like getting the apartment keys and moving in for the first time. So you guys will see the empty apartment tour, and then I'll get to show you like the furniture shopping, and then like the finished apartment tour. I also want to do like a desk setup, like a really cool editing desk setup. So I'll vlog that too. Show everything I get. I want a sick ass monitor, bro. I want to get the big like 50 inch monitor. It's gonna be a badass, bro. I cannot wait to have my own place. It's gonna be dope. Also, sorry, I keep talking a lot, but that's what I was gonna get to. I think I'm gonna start talking more on the vlogs, guys. I was watching, okay, we all know the person, Quan, bro, the YouTuber Quan. I watch him a lot, guys. And Loki, he's killing it right now. He has crazy views, bro. Like, his views are ridiculous, bro. Like, literally ridiculous. And his vlogs are like an hour long, bro. And I don't know, it seems like people like it. So I might try to just start like vlogging more. I was watching this vlog yesterday and he literally just has the camera rolling as if he's like live or something, live streaming or, you know what I mean? The camera's just rolling like this over and over and over. He's just talking. So I might just start doing more of that, less cutting up and just like more talking. Let me know if you guys want to see more of that or just more like raw vlogs, you know, no cutting up the videos more like a live stream kind of vibe. I know people love live streams nowadays. That's like the wave right now. So if I can incorporate that into the vlogs, it might be kind of cool. And 
it might feel like you guys are literally with me all the time, you know? More personal, and uh, like I said in one of the last videos too, I'm learning as I'm going, guys. Six years, seven years into vlogging, and I'm still like learning as I go, and trying to progress, and try to change stuff, and try to make things better, and uh, yeah, trying to find the direction of the vlog, you know? But I appreciate everybody riding with me. I appreciate all the love and support too. I read all the comments on that video, and everybody's just showing so much love, and I appreciate that. You guys are literally like so tapped in with me in my life, and like, I don't know, it feels good to know that you guys are like real supporters, bro. Like the comments are super, super nice, and I appreciate that, guys. Look, Kevin finally answered, guys. You ready, G? It's gonna be hard, I'm driving. Oh my <laughs> god! GTS, no G! Way. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Bro! Oh. That's sick as bro! It has the case! You that want it? it? Yes, it's so sick! You don't have one? I thought you had this! I do, but it's not like that! Is this one better? Yes, it has a <laughs> bro, it's a freaking GTS, bro. <laughs> Look at Kevin in his orange ass room, too. Bro. That's crazy, huh? I know he was like, I watched you and Kevin's videos, and uh, I'm sorry I couldn't find your spec, but I found Kevin's. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's, that's so crazy. sick, bro. Like, that's dope. Rich, G. That's rich, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it out the window. No, I'm just kidding. No! <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Why do you only get your spec, bro? That's fucked up. <laughs> back. Look, they already got the engine in that freaking race car. Everything's put back together. I think this is the only thing that they're waiting on. They're waiting for this, and then we can put my car on the lift. So my car's still not getting worked on today, so unfortunately. Look at this thing. Sam's building another drift car. Remember I told you guys? Brand new E36 shell. He still has the other one too, but this is his new shell. Dude, he had a... E30, then he went to the 1 Series, 135, then he had an E36 practice car, and he enjoyed the E36 so much that he retired the 1 Series and kept the practice car as his main car, and now he's going to keep the practice car and make this his main car. Sam, bro, with all his freaking drift builds, this is insane, but this one's hella nice. He's all brand new, look at it. Freshly painted, fresh bolts everywhere, fresh suspension, fresh everything, and of course, he's going to put a crazy motor in it. It's going to be insane. Look at all the suspension. Shit is so nice, bro. Brand new everything. Brand new angle kit. Brand new paint. I love the silver. If I was able to redo my engine bay, I would do it this color. And the roll cage too. Man, it's so nice. Carbon dash. I want to do this, guys. Should we go to the extent to change my dash? Sam has one laying around. And he's hooking me up with a good price. I'm wondering if I should do a carbon dash in mine. It's just pretty baller to have a carbon fiber full dash in the car. But yeah, I love this gray paint. That shit's fire. Damn, that thing looks good with the wheels. Now he has the both front and rear wheels on there. We got Charles's car too. Charles is actually turboing it. So that's gonna be sick. That's a street car. And then Sam's dream car. You guys saw the last video? If you guys didn't, Sam is building an E30 M3. He finally bought one. Uh, he's been restoring it for like the past year, I think. But it's brand new paint. The paint is brand new, guys. It's a little dusty, but brand new fresh paint job. Fresh freaking re-powder coated wheels too. Fresh interior. It's not done yet, he still needs a few more stuff to do, but it's gonna be sick. He's trying to restore it to all OEM. He's not turboing it, everything is OEM. And it's a real M3. Look at the fenders, dude. Worth so much money. Once it's like fully done, it's gonna be beautiful. It already looks beautiful, but that is so clean. It's literally Sam's dream car. It's funny because like us, <laughs> well me, my dream car is SVJ. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are like Lamborghinis, McLarens, like those are your dream cars. This is Sam's dream car, bro, an E30 M3. But yeah, ever since I met Sam, he's been talking about E30 M3 and he finally got one. Look at, you guys remember seeing this in the last video? It was all taken apart. And look, it's coming together from red to black. But why do you get rid of the red? <laughs> the red's way better, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's crazy, that was all black. It looks good either way, but you guys know me, I would have kept the red for sure. Full carbon fiber wheels. Look at the barrels, dude. Wow, baller, bro. <laughs> you know how expensive these probably are? I think they said like six grand for just one wheel. Imagine you curb that, guys. Six grand for one wheel? Bro, all four of my T's don't even add up to one of these wheels. Full current fiber wheels. Sick ass car. I think they're twin turbo in it too, after. Anyways, as you guys can see, they are extremely busy, bro. From race cars to freaking M5s. AMG's Eurus is over there. There's a Supra over there too. 
Supercars, Ferraris coming in every now and then. But wraps, bro, they're ridiculously busy, guys. It's hard to like rush them, but I'm gonna go try to find Salmon Town, please. <laughs> Just try to hurry up and fix my car. <laughs> but they are busy, guys. Like a Urus, Supra. Damn, look at the tire on it. I think I've seen this one before. It's literally Gustavo's twin, bro. I always say it. <laughs> Cause look at the front end. Carbon fenders, carbon hood, single turbo. That is clean. Fat tire, dude. Hey guys, a few hours has passed. We got Nikon, we got Kevin. We hopping in, Sean 720, bro. Let's get it. I don't even open this, bro. <laughs> I don't even know how to open this door. Listen, if you can't get in, that's <laughs> bro, I thought it was like the 570 in the bottom. No. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> Sheesh. Lighting. That's stock? Yeah. What the heck? I didn't know that has ambient lighting. Mm -hmm. All right, we made it. Hopefully this meets better than the last one. If you guys remember the last video, I don't even know if it's this one. I don't even know if I'm going to put it in the vlog, bro. Hopefully this meets cooler. Got some, uh, I don't know. <laughs> Bunch of BMWs out here. Bro, I have no motivation to film today's car meet, guys. <laughs> I am tired, I'm lazy, and bro, I'm just slowly getting over the car meets, guys. I am, I really am. Especially the BMW ones. Like, there's so many BMWs, it's ridiculous, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm kind of getting bored. Look at the E92. It's a cool front bumper. I think I remember wanting that front bumper when I had mine. Is please be patient, student driver. <laughs> Damn, he has Marina Blue F80. Look at those TEs, it's fire. But yeah, <laughs> this shit is paint, dude. Look how clean that color looks, even at night. Wow, bro, that is a beautiful freaking paint. Paint job. I don't know what it's called. Comment down below if you guys know, but it is a very rare color that BMW makes. I like it with the blue wheels and the blue brakes. Interesting spec. But it's pretty sick. It's different. It's unique. It's hard. And then the M4 with a cool wing on it. M4s are nice too. You guys know that uh, David, you guys all know David, the Austin Yellow F80. That F80 is gone. It's long gone. <laughs> One day we'll tell the story about it. But he's trying to find another car. As you guys know, he's been trying to find another car for like a month now. But he hasn't found the right one. It's actually very hard to find the right car, bro. It's actually a stressful process too. When I was looking for my F80, it took me like months to find it. A stick shift one, carbon roof. I want a red interior. I didn't get that. As you guys can see, it's hard to find the perfect spec that you want. It has to be clean, low miles, uh, hopefully not beat up either. So it takes time. But anyways, David is looking at cars right now and he found a couple M4s. He's also found a couple F80s, but he's trying to debate which one to go, F80 or M4. But we'll see what David gets. I'm excited to see what he gets so we could be back in F80s. Because honestly, we didn't really get to cruise our cars much. Maybe like once or twice. Not even, I think once we had our F80s together. That is it. Talking to the fans, G? What's up, G? I'm talking. <laughs> I like your hoodie. Sheesh. Is it fire? I need to make more. Yeah. yeah like, I was going to say, I need like three more. <laughs> well, did you see that M5? No. Just oh yeah, what the heck? She got a tire on it. I'm 18s. What the? the first Those back. wheels are big. First I've turned on track back. This is the first meetup spot. Now we're all about to go on a cruise to Malibu. So we'll see how it goes. I'll try to film as much as I could. This shit is too fast, guys. This freaking 720 is ridiculous. Honestly, it's scary. Where is Sean at? I think he went pee. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> but yeah, this shit is ridiculously fast, guys. It's honestly sketchy to drive in. Like it gets up to speed so fast. <laughs> Look at the roof. Bro, isn't this roof option like super expensive too? The glass uh, roof? Yeah. The glass roof? Yep. Oh my god. This shit is too fast. It's fun. This shit is ridiculously fast. Oh my god. I can't even see anything. And 
shit stock, guys. But he's about to make it like two times faster. Bro, I swear, I feel like stock's eating up, bro. It is. This shit is scary. Like, I feel like if you made it even crazier, it's gonna be too fast, bro. No. <laughs> it's already a little bit too fast. It's already too fast. <laughs> it's too fast for the streets. I'm not gonna lie. A car should not be this fast <laughs> on the street. You don't need it. Literally, bro. You don't need it, but it's fun. It's 720s funny. are ridiculous, bro. It's literally ridiculous. Like, I'm about to overtake them. They don't even know it. They're not even fast enough. This shit sounds crazy, bro. We're gonna go. We're gonna, run, We're gonna talk to the cop, guys. What happened to it? He's getting ready <laughs> <laughs> to chase all of us on. <laughs> and I saw the hood open. I know, our boy, he has a G80, but his it's doing service right now. So they no, gave no, him this. Oh. Alright, on turbo blue. <laughs> Actually, I think they're gonna replace the motor. No way. Yeah. Well, it's at the dealership because something happens to JD. But this is a loaner, and you know he put spacers on it. I know, I know. He, <laughs> he put spacers on the loaner, bro. Look at the lime rocket. He said he might put springs on it too. <laughs> he said he might because he doesn't know how long the JD's gonna be in the shop. So might as well, huh? Mod the, mod the little loaner. This is crazy though. We posted a gas station and there's a CSP. What are the, what is the odds, bro? And I think his car broke down, G. So we can just do something and run. He won't even catch us. That, huh? that, that loud ass. <laughs> when I flew by you? The yeah, I, heard, I, heard. I don't crazy. know if I caught it though. Man, this is a nice super. Yeah. There's a cage in there too. I mean, he came in and smacked it. It was like right. Yeah. Bro, look at this dude. Smoked out. Bro, isn't it cold? This dude has no shirt on with the beer in his hand, guys. And the cops right there, I know. Bro, this guy is smoked out, G. All over your underglow, G. Underglow? All over there. Sheesh. Oh my God. That was a cool little Malibu cruise. Oh, I tried to film as much as I could, guys, but 720 is just so fast. And it's honestly scary. I was literally like quiet the entire ride, just closing my eyes, bro, because I hate being passenger seat, and that shit is stupid fast, bro. I didn't know 720s were that fast stock. Like, it's stock. And he has big plans for it. He's going to do downpipe tune, all this crazy stuff, but even stock, that car is literally ridiculous. It's honestly too fast for the streets. I heard this thing makes a lot of horsepower too, with the wilds on there. Damn. But yeah, 720 is no joke. Scary ass car to drive. I'm cool off that, bro. <laughs> Scary being passenger. 
but yeah we're in malibu you can kind of see the coastline over there like that but it's just really dark so you can't see but the ocean's right there i think you kind of see santa monica over there those blue lights i'll be as see rick right there <laughs> you can see like the blue uh ferris wheel that's santa monica but yeah there's a few cars i think it was like a private cruise so not that many people out here which is good like i said in the last video it's kind of good when there's less people because that means like less people driving reckless and stuff like that but I'm trying to go to a big meet soon, bro. We haven't been to a big, big car meet in a long time. <laughs> drinking the beer in front of the cop, bro. <laughs> no what way. the fuck? Yes. Look at these tickets. Smoked out. I mean, you can't be doing all that. I'm being cold. Literally. Oh my. <laughs> It's, uh, we're over here. He's literally being cool, like, chill. Yeah, he's literally, I know. Today, yeah. Yeah, he's literally being chill. He could literally just call, the, call CHP now, and everybody would be fucked. <laughs> literally. He's literally just chilling. He's being cool. He's already drinking in front of him. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> he knows you're a smoke, dude. Smoke <laughs> Guys, there's literally no way. This just catching Sean in the yeah. same time. You are definitely need to call him. Sean's out of here, bro. But there's no way. It's literally like, he's what kind of engine chocolate. is that, bro? He wouldn't be able to catch up to me. Shut up, G. Saying, Look at GTS yeah, right he's now. Catching, he's, catching. <laughs> he's catching you and he's going back up. <laughs> Think so, G? Bro, there's no way they're going to help him fix this, guys. Oh, oh, we got the yeah, scanner out. Prepared. <laughs> That's crazy. He literally pulled the scanner out and everything. And he was going to help, like, figure out what kind of codes it's throwing or what's going on. But you could definitely smell the coolant. He's for sure overheating, bro. That's funny. I'm going to jump in the M8 now, guys. Sean's going home. No speeding, sir. <laughs> oh my god, bro, that paint is ridiculous, dude. <laughs> bro, it's so nice. It turns from brown to like a blue gray. Literally the sickest color ever. If I get another F80, that's the color I want. Like, if I could choose any color, it would for sure be that color, bro. You already know what I take. Orange. <laughs> Orange is the worst color in the freaking horsepower rainbow, five. G. It's not a thousand horsepower. Yeah, it is, it is. No way. Charlie, how much power is Felipe's F5? 1200 bro. <laughs> no way. <laughs> bro, look how crazy this is. Yeah. I mean, you know, we've hit a 1040, but that's like wow, bro. That's prepped and everything and you heard of That's insane. I feel so car sick. Go that way!